If you're looking for a card for HD playback, you want to smooth out some of those frame rates when you're watching HD DVDs, uh, Blu-ray movies, and you also want something that's going to be able to play a few of the games out there, I mean, this is a good card for uh, casual gaming, look no further. Right here it is, the Diamond Radeon 3650. And let me tell you first off what I like about this card. You have HDMI right there on board, and uh, with this HDMI, well, you get full 1080p resolution. That's 1920 by 1080. So, uh, there you go. Over to your HD device of choice, your plasma TV, your LCD TV. We also have DVI and uh, VGA on the back, so you can run dual monitors at 2560 by 1600. Uh, and, and also the size. I mean, it's not a huge card. It's an extremely quiet card. That's one of their biggest points in advertising is how quiet it is. Because when you're watching a movie, you don't need a giant heatsink this big with a massive fan going... It sounds like a vacuum cleaner. You want to enjoy the movie. You don't want to watch a movie and listen to a vacuum cleaner at the same time. Do you? Or, or do you? I mean, I don't know. What's in style these days? Mm, quiet movies are in style these days. And... Uh, like I said, it's also good for some uh, video games. If you want to sit down and play a few video games, it can run them. Let me talk about um, the specs on this card. Now, it has a 725 megahertz core clock. Uh, the memory clock, it's got a gigabyte of DDR2 memory, and the double data rate is 2,000 megahertz. So even though it's a DDR2, it's very fast uh, memory, and you have a gigabyte of it, which is really going to help for people who are watching Blu-ray movies and HD DVD movies. One thing I want to mention, now this is really cool. There's a unified video decoder on, on the card, and that really removes a lot of the stress from the CPU. Now, testing this with Blu-ray and HD DVDs, uh, the CPU, CPU utilization while you're watching a, like a Blu-ray movie or something is only about 1% when you have this in your system because this card is handling pretty much all of the HD uh, decoding. Even when you're watching an uncompressed HD file, the CPU utilization is going to be in the single digits. And, and that is, that's awesome. That's nice. It, moves, it removes a lot of stress from your CPU, uh, keeps it running cooler, and also allows the uh, video to be much smoother. Now this has a 120 stream processor and that helps for the games. And it's uh, also DirectX 10.1, so it's ready for the newest. It's a 128-bit card uh, as well. Now let's talk about, I want to give these guys some gaming benchmarks because some people are curious, you know, how fast does it play the games? They want to be able to, uh, you know, view the HD content. It's a very, very good priced uh, card for what it does. How does it work in games? Well, I wouldn't recommend it for Crisis. Here's uh, the Crisis results. 1280 by 1024 uh, on medium settings. This card is 13.5 frames per second. Now, I want to compare that to the 8800 GTS. I mean, the 8600 GTS, which is similarly priced. That card is 11.4, so it's a little bit faster than the 8600 GTS, which is a good card for gaming. Um, and also, this one has better HD, uh, I guess, better HD, what would you call it? HD. Throughput? Throughput, yeah better HD throughput as well. Um, now, let's talk about Half-Life 2, uh, Episode 2, 1280 by 1024. With everything turned up, even anti-aliasing turned all the way up, and uh, anthropic filtering. This card was at 55 frames a second. That's respectable. Uh, the 8800, or the 8600, I'm sorry, GTS was at 64 frames a second. So as you can see, it keeps up with the uh, GTS there. This is a great card for Source Engine games. If you want to play Team Fortress 2 or Half-Life, you can do it with this card, but it really is more about uh, HD. It's all about HD. The fact that it only uses 1% of your CPU while you're watching an HD. It's got the HDMI right there. And it's also small and quiet. And that's really all you need for HD uh, content. So like I said, if you're looking for something to play Blu-rays, HD content, uh, HD content you've downloaded from the web, or just stuff that you've ripped to your system and you want to watch back in glorious HD on the device of your choice, then this is a great card for the money. The 3650 from Diamond. It's the Diamond Radeon 3650. I'll see you next time. For more information on the Diamond Radeon HD 3650, go to CompUSA and type D10-3652 into the search box. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.